Hey family, um, how y'all doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Shalom, aloha, salam alaikum. Grand rising and grand rising, and we are rising to the top. How y'all doing? I appreciate each and every one of you for taking time out of your busy day to watch my videos. I really, 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 really do. Now, in my previous video, I mentioned that men, you gotta be careful, okay? Just like every man you see out there, or let me correct myself, because sometimes when I say men, I feel like a man is somebody who has learned to conquer their nature. You know, when you learn to control yourself like Christ did, you, to me, in my eyes, you are a man. We don't have that many. I call them 1%. Every male you see walking down the street doesn't have the, shouldn't have the right to pass their genes on. Every woman you see on the street shouldn't have the right to carry your child or also pass her genes on. Because it's pretty fit things. You and me that come together to make a whole baby. Sometimes women will get with men. They madly in love. I want him. I will do anything to keep him. And they think that having a baby for the man will keep the man. Or will keep the male. Will keep the guy that they madly in love with. And so when there's a pregnancy and the guy or the male or the man don't want to be with the woman, they take out that frustration on the child. There are some women that own a life, their own kids, because of the anger they have for the man. The anger they have for the guy, for the boy, for the male. As a man, you need to be very selective of, of who you having babies with. You know, I had a friend that once told me, one of my homeboys said, I will date a single mother of one. And I, I, I was young, we was young that time, like 19, 20. And I was like, why? He said, if I see the way she parents her child, if I see the way she raised that child, if she's doing a good job, that would tell me that someday, if I have kids with her, she will be a great mother. I didn't get it till as I got older. And it make a lot of sense. So some of y'all men out here are dealing with women that, that have kids that ain't even raising them kids, that have children that don't even care about their children. But you, you getting punani, you getting pum pum, you getting some jiggy, you get to release, so you don't care. You don't care about them kids that she has that she not caring for. You go to the house or you probably live in the house and you see how she treat them children. You don't care. And you go ahead and, 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 and get her pregnant. And you wonder why now today you're watching this video, your child is not alive today. That is because she didn't give birth because she wanted the child. She gave birth because she was with you and she thought that probably having that child would make you stay with her. Yes, you get with people and things happen. Protect yourself. Just because you're my boyfriend doesn't mean I have to have sex with you unprotected. Be selective. Just like you're selective of what you consume the people around you, be selective who you want to be the mother of your child. Be selective. Don't go out here just making babies with demons because this is just a vehicle. Whatever that stay in this body, a lot of us, we have moved away from God. We have moved away from, from the universe. God is within us, but we have moved away, meaning that we have we are doing things to this temple that we ain't supposed to. Be careful who you having children with. Every woman on the street don't deserve to have your child. Be careful. Thank you for watching. Give yourself a hug. One love.